Sarah. Well, welcome from ARC, from the Abortion Rights Campaign. You're very welcome on this march. This is so amazing to see, I can't tell you. It's really great. Well, I won't keep you long, because there's lots of great things happening later after the march. So, uh, I just want to say that what we have seen this past year is a huge growth in support for this campaign to repeal the Eighth Amendment. Organisations like Amnesty Ireland, like ROSA, the as newly established Parents for Choice, the Trade Union Campaign to Repeal the Eighth, and the Coalition to Repeal the Eighth. Check all these organisations out. They're all happening, they're all working really hard towards this goal. Now, in Ireland, is the time to speak up. Now is the time to have new conversations, and now is the time to come out as pro-choice. And now is definitely the time to tell the politicians who will be looking here for your vote next year that they must repeal the Eighth Amendment. Today, I would also like to welcome people who have travelled. People have travelled from Galway. You're so welcome. From Belfast. From Limerick, Sligo, and Cork. You've got up early and you... You've got up early, you hopped on a bus, and we really, really, really appreciate that. We also have, joining us, three really amazing Spanish activists. <laughs> so in Spain, check this out as well online. They basically started an organization and a campaign called the Freedom Train, which saw over 100,000 protesters take to the streets in Madrid to demand that the government not push back on abortion rights, and they won. We also have with us, and this should show you the solidarity that is around the world that's not always evident, the solidarity from groups like the RFSU in Sweden, it's the Association for Sexuality Education. You can be sure they'll be the ones handing out the condoms. So their presence here today is one aspect that really shows that the activists are happening all over the world and they know about us and they have our back and they support us. We also have the European Parliament Women's Committee, the FEM Committee. They, I don't know if they're here, I hope they are. They're here and they're with us in spirit. They're finishing a study tour in Ireland and that was to examine the gendered aspects of austerity in Ireland. And their presence also gives a clear message to our politicians. Because, you know, Europe is well aware that our restrictive abortion laws violate the rights of people in Ireland seeking abortion. Thanks to all the groups and individuals, and, of course, to all the volunteers. They work all the year round doing all kinds of things, because ARC is a non-funded organisation, and we rely on hours that people give us, we rely on donations, we rely on your ideas. So please come and find out what's going on with all the different organizations. So, I know you are dying to get tea and cake and other beverages. What I'd like to, to let you know is that people are working all the time, but one of the things we really need is your support and you know that. Give what you can in terms of your hours, give what you can in terms of just tweeting and doing stuff online and talking to people. Talk to your relations who maybe you've never even come up with this subject before because I think you might be surprised what has gone on in other people's lives in your family. You just don't know. And this is the whole point. We've got to start breaking the silence and the stigma around this. Because women have always had abortions. They have always seeked to make their own choices. And this is what's going on now. They're going to England. So of course, we've all got to know people even if we think we don't. So, we can as we have seen with marriage equality, have an Ireland that treats us equally as people and we can fight to make that happen. We can speak out about our experiences and our beliefs and tell politicians that they can't sweep 12 more women under the rug. And we can demand the right to decide what happens to our bodies. This is what we're aiming towards. We are getting there. Fair play. Join us at the Complex Arts Centre after this. 
It's off Cable Street, turn left of the AOB Bank. See you there. <laughs>